Hello, this is Dr. Darren Schmidt, the Nutritional Healing Center of Ann Arbor. And this video is on the metabolic pathways in the body that cause disease and cause health. So this poster is done by a company called Sigma Life Science, and it's an educational poster with all the biochemical reactions that occur within the body. Now, you can't see the top of it, but the point is I, I have the center right here. This, this is what we're going to go over right here. And um, so here's the deal. This pink part in the middle... That, those are biochemical reactions that occur within, uh, the, within the cell. It's called the cytoplasm of the cell. And this is where glucose is broken down into a nutrient called pyruvate. And the process is called glycolysis. So the end of that word would be lysis, meaning to cut. So to cut glucose is called glycolysis. So at the beginning, we have fructose, sucrose, and glucose. And then we have all these processes right here. And at the end, we have pyruvate. Now, the pyruvate goes into the yellow. And the yellow is the, within the mitochondria. So the mitochondria are little tiny organelles inside the cell where um, energy is produced. And so it's like the uh, factory of energy production in the cells. So pyruvate here has, um, at the end of the cycle of production of py pyruvate, we have five arrows that leave the word pyruvate, and they shoot off in this direction. And those are called waste products. So glycolysis has waste products. And I'm going to mention a couple of them. The first one here is called lactate. So lactate can go back into becoming pyruvate or not. So an athlete may, out of 100% um, of their um, lactate production... 75% may go back into becoming uh, a source of fuel as pyruvate. And the other 25% stays in the blood. But if you have like an Olympic athlete like Michael Phelps, for example, he may have 85% of lactate going back as fuel and only 15% only staying in the, in the muscles or in the blood. And the lactate makes the arteries dilate, which slows down circulation, which causes capillary engorgement, which causes cell death. And I see other, you, there's other videos you can see about that. Another waste product is called acetaldehyde, and that becomes acetate. So again, acetate is, um, it's a poison, and it also makes arteries dilate, which slows down circulation, especially in the capillaries, which causes capillary engorgement of, a toxic, of toxic blood that's hypoxic, and then you get cell death. So the whole point of, gluc of glycolysis is that it causes disease. It causes the lactic, lactic acidosis scenario. And another waste product is ethanol. Ethanol is alcohol. So have you ever seen an autistic kid that giggles all the time? It's because they're drunk. It's because they're making a lot of uh, pyruvate from the glycolysis um, system. And they're giddy. I've seen a number of... Um, uh, autistic kids that giggle too much. <laughs> and then you can have an older man, for example, who's heading towards diabetes. Let's say he's in his late 60s and he's grumpy and um, it's almost, and he can't think straight. He doesn't want to talk to you. It's because he's a bit hungover and he's short tempered, like an angry drunk man. Like an angry drunk man. So, yeah, this, um, this glycolysis causes these waste products, which causes problems. So the point is, you don't want to do any of this. You want to do this, the yellow part right here. This is burning fat. So right here it says lipid degradation. Like the, the breakdown of fats starts here and it goes this way. And then from here, you have the most important nutrient. It's called acetyl-CoA. And it goes down into, and this is, at the very bottom, this is where um, ATP is made. ATP is the fuel for our bodies. And this process right here is called oxidative phosphorylation. It's um, the most efficient way to make ATP. And, but the question is, are you doing it from fats or are you doing it from sugar? You want to do it from fats. Now, right here in this little purple box, you can't see it, it says ketone bodies. The ketone bodies are actually fats that the body loves to burn. It's the best way to burn fat. Especially this one written right here is called 3-hydroxybutyrate. That's the most popular fat that your body loves to burn. So this comes into this cycle right here, and it becomes acetyl-CoA, and then you have ATP, ATP production, 
with no waste product. So that's the key. You want to be burning fat. You don't want to be burning sugar. And it's all spelled out right here. And you got the waste products here. You can look up the side effects of the acetate, the lactate, the ethanol, um, acetaldehyde. You can see what they do. And um, it's pretty interesting. But uh, this is it right here. Chronic disease here. Health here. It's just that simple.